The miracles continued. Jesus healed those in need. Crowds listened to his stories in the Gospels we read. He taught about sin, falling short of God's mark. But quite who he was, some were still in the dark. By this time his disciples had seen many signs. They'd listened to his stories, they'd heard many lines. They hadn't decided, at least they weren't sure, about who Jesus was, disbelief he'd endure. One day Jesus used stories to teach by the sea. The stories had two meanings that some couldn't see. The people they stayed and they listened all day. The evening had come, they all went away. Jesus decided to cross over the lake in a boat. Maybe he wanted to pray or just be remote. The wind started blowing, far stronger than the norm. The fishermen among them braced for a storm. The storm, it was fierce. The waves swamped the boat. The disciples soon realised they were struggling to float. Jesus could help, with the waves and the billow. He was at the back of the boat, asleep on a pillow. One of the disciples woke him up with a cry. Do you really not care? We're all going to die. Jesus did care, much more than they knew. And coming to die was what he must do. But this wasn't the time. It wasn't God's way. He'd die for our sin on the appointed day. He stood right up in the boat that was rocking. He was about to do something amazing and shocking. Jesus spoke with a voice. It was so commanding. He spoke to the wind. He was so demanding. Peace, be still, he said to the raging sea. Immediately it was as calm as it can be. This was amazing. What would he do next? The disciples stood there, all looking perplexed. What Jesus commanded, the wind and the waves had done. The disciples concluded, this must be God's Son. <laughs>